with these three molecules, you can make unlimited amount of combinations. You could combine it with a... Talking batteries with our favorite battery expert, Ash. And today it's all about organic solid flow batteries. Ash, what the heck is that? Well, it's not very different from other flow batteries. And flow batteries, in a sense, are essentially a hybrid between an actual lithium ion battery and a fuel cell. So in a fuel cell, you have to constantly feed it with the fuel, typically hydrogen, and an oxidizer, which is oxygen from the air. And then it rejects, you know, the waste product, which is water vapor. Um, in a flow battery, you're controlling both of these sides. You're controlling the fuel, you're controlling the oxidizer, and you're controlling the waste product. You're collecting them in tanks, in sealed tanks. So an, an organic flow battery could be a metal salt, a, a type of electrolyte that has a specific composition and an oxidizer. And essentially you're just taking it from fuel and oxidizer into waste product and you're collecting both of them when you charge or discharge. And then when you're doing the opposite, you're just essentially taking the waste product and re-splitting it back again into fuel and oxidizer. And it goes back and forth. The great thing in general about flow batteries is the cell itself, the surface area, the total surface area determines the power output. So let's say you have a 100 kilowatt uh, battery. So you can at any given time supply a constant 100 kilowatts, but your duration is technically unlimited based on your storage capacity. So I used to have a joke where I said, you know, we have so many unused swimming pools in a city. Why don't we just split them into, into two or into four? and convert them into giant flow batteries because you just need massive storage tanks and the more storage you add the greater the duration of your energy capacity is so your power is limited yes 100 kilowatts but you could have two hours four hours eight hours 16 hours constant power output and because it's not exposed to the atmosphere uh, there's a very low rate of degradation usually. And actually, this is different compared to a normal battery where power and storage are actually correlated, right? Very different, exactly. So in the flow battery, they're not correlated, they're completely decoupled. And the organic components, how, how big of a difference is that? It could be anything, you know, organic means it's got carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in it, right? With these three molecules, you can make unlimited amount of combinations. You could combine it with a, a salt, a metal, a semiconductor material, whatever you want. So I don't think they have revealed their composition yet, but the advantages of, of organic substances is that they can often be liquids, which can then be pumped very easily.